in this problem we are required to find out the stress in each member we are given with an indeterminate structure consisting of three bars first bar is of aluminium second is of steel and the third is of brass the area of aluminium steel and brass are given and modulus of elasticity of each member is also given we are required to find out the stress in each member by using compatibility equations since it is an indeterminate structure for finding out the stress in each member we have to first calculate the force in each member starting with calculating force in each member we need to draw the free body diagram of each member that would be like for first member of aluminium we always assume the reaction direction in these kind of problems as this as positive let's call this r1 this as r2 so here it is r1 this is force in aluminium upon summation of forces in x direction we get Now, for this member, we draw the free body diagram as this is a one fifty kilonewton load, one thousand, one fifty thousand newtons load. It is force in steel since this member is a steel. R1. Upon summation of forces in x direction, we get R1 plus Fst minus 150,000 equals to zero. Force in steel is therefore minus R1 minus 150,000. Similarly, for the third member, we draw the free body diagram as it is force in brass. Upon summation of forces in x direction. get R1 plus 150,000 actually it was a minus 9 it would have to be negative and minus 90,000 plus force in brass is equal to 0 force in brass comes out to be 2 40,000 minus R1 since we have calculated the forces in terms of variable R1 so in next step we will apply the force summation of forces to the whole member as summation of forces in F direction as R1 plus R2 minus 150,000 R1 plus R2 equals to 240,000 Let's call this as equation number 1 The compatibility equation for the given structure would be like as we already discussed the compatibility equation is always as change in length of aluminium plus change in length of steel plus change in length of brass is equal to zero that means from both the ends the supports are fixed 
and the change will be within the member that is if one member is contracting the rest will be in tension so it's negative and these vortices will cancel out each other and ultimately it would be zero we know that stress is equals to modulus of elasticity into strain is equals to change in length over the original length that is the value of strain taking down length over here we get value of delta l as stress into length over modulus of elasticity substituting these values in the equation given we get stress in aluminum into length of aluminum over modulus of elasticity of aluminum plus stress in steel length of steel over modulus of elasticity of steel plus stress in brass into length of brass over modulus of elasticity of brass is equals to zero substituting the values as length of aluminum and modulus of elasticity of aluminum length of steel and modulus of elasticity of steel and length of brass and modulus of elasticity of brass as we are given To five hundred exponent minus. Converting it into as a unit plus stress in steel into length of steel is two fifty millimeter. Two fifty exponent minus three meters over two hundred exponent nine. Plus stress in brass into length of brass is three fifty millimeter exponent minus three over eighty three exponent nine is equals to zero. Upon simplifying this equation, we will get seven point one four two sigma al plus one point two five sigma st. Plus 4.216 sigma b brass is equals to zero. Now we have to bring the stress in terms of forces, so we can simplify the forces that causes the equation number two. We know that stress in Aluminium is equal to force in aluminium over area of aluminium. The force in aluminium is negative of R1 over area of aluminium is given as 900 millimeter square. Converting millimeter square into meter square, we get area as this. Stress in steel. The force in steel is minus R1 plus 1 lakh 50 thousand. One. One fifty thousand over the area of the steel is two thousand. Exponent minus six. And similarly, we get the equation for brass as the force two forty. Substituting these values in equation number two, we get to be simplified as
can solve this equation directly by calculator as 7.142 into minus let's say r1 as x over 9 get the value of R1 as 77,000 newtons 1 is equals to 77601 newtons or simply as 77.6 kN for force in each member or the stress in each member we know that stress in aluminium is equal to gives us the value of putting the value of R1 in this equation we get stress in aluminium 